Welcome to CIS 105 online. My name is Deb Giblin and I will be teaching you this course online this semester. To get into my MTI, which is a Mitchell Tech's learning management system where we house our classes, you're going to go to mitchelltech.edu and on the right hand side you'll see my MTI. It's right to the left of webmap. When you click on my MTI, it'll ask for your credentials. When you log on, you use the same credentials you use to get into your webmail. If you do not know what your credentials are, please send me an email at deb.giblin at mitchelltech.edu and I will talk to IT and get your credentials for you. When you first get into my MTI, you will see a list of your classes. Click on CIS 105 and this is what you will see here. On the home screen, it has the latest news, your coursework that's due that week. If you click on it, it'll tell you exactly what the assignment is. This course is composed of four different modules, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access. All four modules, all four softwares are done using Office 2013. If you are using Office 2010, you're going to see major differences and have some difficulties. So please purchase 2013 so everything can be just as it is in the book to make things as easier and make the most sense as possible. Also, you can, you can reach your coursework by hitting coursework on the left hand side. Assignments for this class are due Sunday nights at 11.55 p.m. I grade assignments on Monday mornings. It's been most of the day grading the CIS 105 assignments as I have over 100 students. If you lose points on assignment, I will put in the comments portion where you lost points or why you lost points. If you do not lose points, once in a while I do give you the attaboys that you definitely deserve, but I don't every time as it just takes longer in the grading process. We will spend about five weeks on Microsoft Word and then we will go and take a test. The test will be done in the SAMS testing software. There will also be a hands-on portion. We will then go into Excel, spend about five weeks on that. We will, we will then um, again take a test, SAMS and hands-on. We'll spend a couple weeks on PowerPoint just going through some basic things and getting you started on your PowerPoint presentation, which will take place of a test and be due at the end of the semester. We will then go into Microsoft Access and spend about five weeks on that. To get started in this class, you need to one, watch this video, Two, explore my MTI so you understand how to move around in it, how, where to find things. And three, read the syllabus. The syllabus has some really important things on it. One has the textbook information. If you do not have a textbook, you need to have gotten it yesterday. You need it to start the class, so please get it ASAP. The data files that correlate with the textbook can be found at this URL. Copy it and paste it into your browser go ahead and unzip the files. If you don't know how to unzip the files, under news and announcements, you will find a video showing you how it's done. News and announcements is something that we are, I'm going to try to get you to check every Thursday afternoon or Friday morning. Thursday afternoon or Friday morning, there should be a new announcement every week telling you what to do the next week. If you choose not to go to that and read it, that's your prerogative. You can also just go to coursework and see what's due by the dates. However, under in my little messages and new announcements, I might give you some tidbits, some tricks, some different videos to help you understand um, what the concepts or objectives that week are. To create a SAMS account, SAMS is used for our, is our testing software. You will see on the left hand side of the screen it says SAM login. To begin, you're going to choose new user. There's also directions on how to do this under coursework under create a SAMS account. You all have to do this in the first week. These first three assignments, which are not time consuming, are due this Sunday, January 11th. Please get them done ASAP. Also, when you email me, again, I have more than one CIS 105 section. I have three. So please note what section you're in. And when you email me, put in the subject, whatever the email's about, as a regular subject would, but also put CIS 105 2 three or one, whichever one you're in. I would appreciate that, especially when it's talking about a missing assignment, a grade, it's easier for me to go into the right shell and find the information. 
I hope this video has helped you learn a little bit about the class and maybe made you a little bit more comfortable with the class and the online environment. I can create these videos on any problems you're having. So if you're having trouble with an objective, you can simply send an email and say, can you please create a video for what, whatever the problem is. I can also send you a link meeting and we can have a meeting and I can see what's on your screen. All of these things can be done, but in order for me to know there's a problem, communication has to be there. So please make sure you're communicating with me. I'm more than happy to help, but I need to know there's a problem. Before ending, I just want to kind of um, show, talk a little bit about my family so you know a little bit more about me. This is our last family picture. Um, that's a picture of me and my husband, Chris. We've been married 15 years and reside in Sioux Falls. This is our oldest daughter, Hattie. She's 13 and um, very big in soccer and basketball here in Sioux Falls. This is our middle child, Bo, who's 10, who loves basketball also along with football and baseball. And this is our five-year-old who is in preschool this year, goes to kindergarten next year. He also loves soccer and um, t-ball. So I hope you've learned a little bit more about me and my family, and I really look forward to getting to know you more this semester. Have a good day.